Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And I'm here today to show you how to use one of these Dicombachia plants, it's also known as the dumb cane, and uh, you can use it for assessing grounding systems. Now, earthing has become a very popular health technique, and for it to work right, you should thoroughly investigate the grounding system that you're connected to. And growing a plant connected onto a grounding system is a very good way of doing that. And this particular plant is actually very, very sensitive to electromagnetic radiation exposures. And it will deform under electromagnetic radiation. And uh, it will also show accelerated development and retarded development depending on the type of exposure. So it's a very, very good plant to actually experiment with, with the grounding technique. It's also known as the earthing technique, and there's a book on this subject called Earthing. So uh, what you need to do is you need to get yourself a piece of cable, put a crocodile clip on one end, which is what you're going to connect onto your cable that attaches to your earthing system that you're planning on using. And the other end, you want to strip it. So, as you can see, this is a highly stranded cable. Uh, you want to strip enough of the cable so it can completely fill the pot. So, let's take the plant out of its pot. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to spread out the strands. And we're going to put it in the pot, and then we're going to put the plant on top of it. So now we have our plant has its earthen cable onto it, and we have an alligator clip that you can use to connect onto your earthing system. And uh, it takes about six months to assess your earthing system using this plant, but it's something that you should do prior to connecting in to your earthing system. And there's quite a few other tests that you should do. You should particularly make sure there's no radio frequencies on your earthing or grounding system. And you should also make sure there's no voltage on your earthing or grounding system. And I have separate videos that show how to test for that. I hope you enjoyed the presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.